Welcome to the Continuing Winemaker Series here at Wine of the Month Club. And we had a pleasant surprise this morning. Josh McDaniels from Double Back Winery stopped by here, all the way from Walla Walla, Washington, but brought us some incredible, incredible Cabernets. And so I want to spend a little time talking to Josh about what's going on up there. And, uh, well, there's some interesting history with the winery. So, Josh, you were you're from Walla. You're out there. What are you doing down yeah. here, by the way? What are you doing in L.A.? Yeah, I'm way? just visiting uh, visiting good people Making like things? you. Yeah, yeah, well, I appreciate yeah, that. Exactly. And so last night you were at... Uh, uh, Spago. Spago night, dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Was it a, yeah. a trade thing? Or was yeah, it? we did a, the Guild of Somalias, uh, a little end-of-year party for them last night with oh. the Washington Wine Commission. So, uh, oh, so the, the Washington Commission was involved? Right? Yeah, so it was oh, fun. Wow. It was us and a couple other wineries pouring wine at well, Spago. That's so good time so while washington being and i have we have not featured a washington wine in a little while actually but we were talking off camera about david lake at columbia winery and and so tell me a little bit about double back a little bit about you know how it got started how old it is what we're talking about here yeah so uh double back uh we're in walla walla kind of an estate focused winery uh we have three properties in walla walla and kind of really primarily focused on cabernet sauvignon uh our proprietor drew bloodso uh grew up uh, uh, <laughs> Drew Bledsoe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. NFL fame. Yeah, yeah. So he grew up in Walla Walla. Oh, he did? And, okay, uh, really? Yeah, yeah. And uh, kind of a famous property in Walla Walla called Leonetti. He grew up on right on the property, as did I. Yeah, so, so Leonetti is a very famous, uh, you know, one of the premier Walla, you know, Washington State wines that we sell. But so how, when you say that he grew up around the property, just your houses were near it, or that was just part of the culture in there? Or what was Yeah, it? so... Having worked there, the the Lust Vineyard where the winery is is uh, Drew's house. His house when he was a kid is uh, like you, you could throw a football on. That, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. More analogy. Yeah. A lot of football yeah, exactly. analogies yeah. today, by the way. So, uh, well, that's interesting. So, he he did he have a love of wine then too? The, uh, I don't think so back then. But I think as you know, as he went through his career, he kind of saw the change that was happening in Walla Walla, and uh, you know, traveled around the U.S. and and got a really good appreciation for Napa cabs and then Italian wines. And then I think his, his palate kind of progressed and, and saw started to fall in love with Walla Walla wines. Wow. And, <coughs> and you you what you said you, you grew up in Leonetti as far as you were a seller at there for a while? Yeah, you yeah. Doing that? Is that when you learned the craft? Yeah, I did, yeah. Wine? my I started when I was uh, like 15 years old and got wow. thrown onto the back of a tractor during harvest and kind of worked my way up from there to cellar rat and assistant winemaker and then uh, took over at double back uh, a couple of years ago wow so, how interesting yeah. yeah it's been a long process and so you have how many acres on their vine there and how many total acres uh so we have uh, about 120 acres now we just got a third piece of property in walla walla uh, but we only have about close to 28 acres planted really? so okay. we're still a small small property um, really, you know, quality focused on Cabernet. And you said seven thousand cases, which is you know a substantial amount of wine. You can yeah. Make a living selling that. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, are these in the market now in LA at least? Or yeah, they California are. Or across yeah. the country or? Yeah, uh, we're much? about we're uh, distributed across the country a little bit. Uh, we do a lot of mailing lists, wow. and then uh, here in LA with the Estates Group. Now, is this 100% cab or is this blended with some little uh, This is blended with a little bit of uh, Petit Verdot and Merlot. Really? A little okay. bit of so it's got a little too, Bordeaux but, right Yeah, up. primarily about 90% Cabernet so What a nose. This is incredible. The cassis and the, the fruit forward. This is really great. And the color is like yeah. nicely yeah. extracted. Is this the 12? This is the 12, right? Nice. So one of the things that we always talk about here, or at least we hear about, is that Washington, Walla Walla and the Washington General Wine um, uh, properties are on the same latitude as Bordeaux, France, giving it what the more sunlight. You said, yeah. And, so we get an extra hour of sunlight during the growing season. So during the day, just because of the angle of the sun. And so, uh, but we also, you know, Walla Walla has a lot of unique characteristics in the growing in the growing regions. So. I'm not gonna spit that out. <laughs> I like that. There's a ton going on in there. Go a little you, anise, man. a little, a little departure from straight, you know, Napa style calves. It was great. Nice, nice. Wow. Appreciate it. I don't know if I can do that. I got I got a yeah. full day of work ahead of me. Yeah, right now, so. me too. Yeah, work is work, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what we got to do yeah, for exactly, a living, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, enjoy it. So, uh, I haven't I haven't seen the wines, but I would love to have uh, you know our customers have access to these because yeah. uh, but these are a great example of what I would consider you know Washington State Cabernet. Cause I appreciate that. Yeah. There's some 
pretty big wines come out of that, yeah. that yeah. area. So, yeah. so what else are you planted up there? Just mostly, are you only bottling Cabernet, or do you have like a Meritage, or do you have yeah. some Bordeaux? Yeah, uh, we do a little bit of Syrah, Rosé, and a Bledsoe family wine we call, which is our Bordeaux blend. So uh, between the four projects, but our kind of our focus is the Cab. So that's the 12, yeah. and tell us, tell us the difference between the 13 vintage, as it, as yeah. it were, as far as the weather. The yeah, yeah. Uh, Pretty similar vintages, honestly. I think uh, the 13 wine might be a little bit softer, uh, drinking a little bit better now, I think, but uh, very, I think pretty similar vintages and wines. This is, uh, oh yeah, well, the noise is very, very good, very similar. Yeah, and you know, growing up at Leonetti, uh, I think that, you know, consistency was always a really important thing for right. our customers. And the so, soil there is what? Yeah. Uh, so we're McQueen Vineyard is our estate property on the south end of Walla Walla, and it's planted almost directly into fractured basalt, and then a little bit of uh, windblown lust. Really? Wow. Yeah. So really, uh, boy, that is really concentrated wine grapes. It seems more terroir oriented than the than the twelve. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It is softer though, but both. I mean, you know, my my bottom line criteria when I select wines for the club or when I'm tasting wines like this is, you know. They can be very interesting, and all the wine geeks can just fall yeah. in love with them and say, and chew on them and talk about them. Yeah, but really, yeah. would you go home and pour this glass Drink at home it. and have dinner and just relax with it? And yeah, this is certainly yeah. one of those wines. Yeah, yeah. You know? And we've always, you know, we've always tried to produce a, a more elegant classic cabernet. Right, we don't want to sure. be, uh, you know, kind of over the top in any way. We just want to make a real true to varietal cabernet. And what's the any whites up there? Uh, yeah, there's uh, we're playing around actually with some Chardonnay, maybe. Uh oh, uh, maybe well, yeah. in the works, so we'll see. There's uh, been some good wall of Chardonnays yeah. coming out yeah, of there, some pretty, there big, have been. pretty big wines, yeah, exactly. And uh, but nothing bottled yet, not yet, so in the, in the barrel, yeah. And in then the, the future for the other vineyards is going to be you're going to try other varietals, you're going to stick with the Bordeaux uh, Bordeaux right now, we're going to we're going to stick with uh, Bordeaux and then the Syrah. So, uh, our new property we just bought, we're going to plant uh, six acres of Syrah this spring. Um, and try to get some. We don't have any estate Syrah right now, so we're yeah, kind David of Lake had a way. ton of that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's got it's done really well. So it's big stuff. Yeah. Well, it's great having you here today. I'm so glad you stopped by, and I hope you have a successful trip down here, and and uh, you can just leave these, okay? No, you All got right. it. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <Thanks. laughs>